One to three? Yeah. Three to one? Go ahead. Yeah. Start with number one, man. Get it out of the way. A, B. Okay. Number one. Yep. Easily. No discussion. Who's your number two? Number two is, oh, this is tough. Mm-hmm. This is tough. But I'm going to go Lynn Swan at two. Okay. And, number, and three? number three is Heinz Ward. I think that's the same, actually okay. the same list that I had for whenever we did these last year. Okay. So for me, I have Heinz at number one. What? AB at number two. What? Star Wars at number on, three. Dude. So let's roll, man. Come on. So dude. let's roll. Let's, no, let's get on. it going, baby. You're let's just, go. Dude, you're just messing with me right let's now. Let's go. Come on. So, so are you ready for this? Come T- on. Tell, tell me your argument for why AB. Why, why AB is number one he's over Hans? Just, he's just the goat. He's, he's and the what? Goat. It's not statistics. Huh? Not statistics. So on what? Are you serious? Dude. You... Career catches, career yards, career touchdowns. Hines has them. Come on. I'm asking. Come on. Who has it? Who are you taking them on? Who it's has it? AB versus. Who has it? Oh my goodness. Who has dude. it? I can't believe this. Longevity? Check. I Big don't... winning? Check. Super Bowl MVPs? Check. Two-time Super Bowl champ, one-time Super Bowl MVP, four-time Pro Bowl, Le- all-time still is leading in receiving yards, receiving, uh, I mean, receptions, and touchdowns. What are we talking about here? Wait, I don't, see, I don't even know if I want to, like... Let's do this. Spin my wheels Let's and get my this. head going with Go like, going back with stats yes. and stuff and everything well, because, because I can. In fact, the numbers are better for Hans. I've already triple-checked them. Because now, we will say this. AB does have the better single seasons, right? He was the best receiver in the league for a six, seven year stretch. Six? Or was it three? I'll say six. <laughs> six. I can tell you for a fact. I'll say six. Six. Six is tough. If you want, all right. Six. I didn't think I was going to have to be debating AB with you. Six now I got to pull him up. Lot. So here's the thing. So, so yeah, this over will... over a six year stretch, he was the best receiver in the league. Okay, I got. Let me pull it up though. I didn't think I was gonna be having. Well, because I mean, he led the league in receiving for 14, 14 and seventeen, where he led the league in receiving. He led the league in receptions oh, in fourteen yeah, and fifteen. Six. That's six from uh, thirteen to two thousand eighteen. AB was best receiver. Thirteen wasn't the best receiver. Fourteen, yes. No, no, no. I'm saying over that six year span, you, you said would say thirteen from fourteen to eighteen. Dude, 13, he had 1,500 yards and eight touchdowns. Bro, he still 110 they, bro, they weren't viewing him as the best in 13. They were viewing him as the best in 14. That's because that was just his first year. So but how looking, you he was the best then? But looking back, no, I don't I'm even. Looking back, you, you said he was the best. I don't even care if you want to argue him top two or top three. Over that six-year span, he is the best. Yes, he he is the best over that six year span, yes. but he was not the best in the league over that six years. Don't don't say that every year. Yeah, I mean you can make an argument yes. every other okay, year. So between don't say that then. Him so, and Julio. So but, that's a different conversation than for you to say he had the best. He was the best over six years. He was because he over was six year span. Yeah, over that six year span as a whole, it was the best year in a year out. He was not viewed as the best receiver right, each say of those six years. Top one or two then between him and Julio season by season. I mean. Top one or two in the league. So so Hopkins don't exist. Huh? Nobody talked about Hopkins during that time either, huh? Still AB's top one or two. I mean So nobody so it wasn't a debate between Hopkins, Julio, and A B on multiple years. It wasn't a debate. Do we want to say three. top three? I yes. mean I'm still taking A B. I don't care. Hey, out of those three guys I would too, that's my teammate. I don't care what you even say. even the years that you are considering Hopkins because A B's seventeen and eighteen mm-hmm. still led the league in re- uh receiving yards. Mm-hmm. Still had over 100 receptions. Yeah. Well, each of those years, he had had 100 receptions from 13 to 18. Led the league with 15 touchdowns in Mm -hmm. 18. I'm taking A.B. Well, and remember, the whole reason why people made the argument of Hopkins over A.B. was because who was A.B.'s quarterback? Yeah, he had a goat. And who was Hopkins' quarterback? Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, dude, you, yeah. I gotta see. Yeah. I gotta see when he got yeah. Watson, man. I gotta see when he got Watson. Watson's only been in the league for three years. Because, well, so here's the thing: he had Watson for the the year AB had yes uh, most touchdowns in the league. Yes, that was that was AB's last what 18, 2018. So yeah, I mean, yeah, he had a who, who the heck was his quarterback before Watson? It was a plethora of different quarterbacks. We played and they had TJ Yates Osweiler. one time. Uh, I forgot they had TJ oh, Yates. Man, they had dude. the kid from it was like something Heineke. Why are you doing this, man? You you said it. Why you said you it was clear this? cut. I'm trying to figure out how. It is clear cut. How? It's uh, AB. Uh, under, under I mean, I mean, do I have to get into the stats here? You do. You definitely yeah, have to get into the stats dude, here. Dude, Hopkins Hopkins 17 was when uh, Watson first started playing. I mean, mm-hmm. he did have a 15 where he had 1500 yards, mm-hmm. but 17. Mm-hmm. 
where he had 13 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. I think mm-hmm. that's when Watson first started playing. He did get hurt, mm-hmm. though. But he had, I mean, mm-hmm. he had a good run with Watson mm-hmm. there until he got hurt. Mm-hmm. And then 18 was when mm-hmm. he had Watson. Mm-hmm. And then 19, no one played. So mm-hmm. we're not t- mm-hmm. we're not talking AB versus uh, Hopkins. We're not. We're, we're talking AB versus there's, Hines. There's no debate that AB's top one or two. If you want to say three still, whatever. Okay. But I hear all that. I'm saying it. I mean, all, he's all the I'm best saying is who, whose fan. career is better? AB's or Hines? AB, man. Under what? That's what I'm asking you. How do you what rate do, that AB's was better than Hines? Wait, we're saying career or. I mean, Dude, I'm we're still... talking. They both only play for. Are you going to count the one game that he played with the Patriots this year? Throw the one game in there then. Career wise, <laughs> whose career is better? AB or Hines? <laughs> it's that simple. Career wise, as it sits today, Hines' career is better. All right. So we're considering this whole career thing. AB, you could say AB's a, who's, nah, I who's say the this. quarterback or who's the receiver this, you though. want tomorrow? You're starting a team. This. I want AB. AB. I will say this AB does have a chance to surpass Hans if AB can come back. He definitely has a chance to surpass him, but as it sits today, who's a Hall of Famer? We we had this discussion. Yeah, let's AB, talk about it. AB's a Hall of Famer. It's debatable. No. You said it just so. Hans Seven, a Hall of Famer. Is Hans a Hall of Famer? Hans a Hall of Famer, but AB is okay, so a, a tier above Hans in the Hall of Fame. It's Hall of Fame and Hall of Fame. If you're not first ballot, then it really don't matter. Come on. Well, there's tiers. and You got first AB, ballot tier and then everybody else, so it really don't matter. I mean, if we're talking like Terrell Owens and Randy Moss getting in, AB is in that discussion. I know. And Hans' numbers are better than AB. I know T.O. didn't get first ballot, but we both mm-hmm. agree that he should have got first I ballot. I definitely agree. So yeah. AB is in that conversation with those two. All I'm saying is. Heinz and Heinz Ward isn't Heinz Ward isn't first ballot. I would agree that Heinz Ward isn't first ballot. Heinz, Heinz career speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. I mean, versus AB, AB seven time Pro Bowl, four time All Pro. Okay, Heinz Ward four time Pro Bowl, two time Super Bowl champ, one time Super Where's Bowl. Where's the All Pro? There's not. Where's one, the Super Bowl wins? There's not one point where he was considered a top five receiver. So when has AB had a Super Bowl? Huh? When has AB won a Super Bowl? I mean, now we go back to the whole team game. I don't want to hear defenses. that. When has he won a Super Bowl? When has he won a Super Bowl? Yeah. He hasn't. Hans won two. When has he won a Super Bowl is MVP? That, is that AB's fault? When we has he won a Super Bowl MVP? Come on, man. When has he won a... We just talked about how tough it is to win a Super Bowl MVP, I'm right? not pumping those Super Bowls up over AB's consistent what? production year in and year what? out. What? It's... I mean, I am big on Super Bowls, but like... Wow. Com- okay, so... so Compared to what AB has... Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh wait a minute. Who, who changed the game, though, in terms of how you're allowed to block as a receiver? Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Seriously, who, who changed the game? Hmm? I'm, dude, no, it's just a AB, serious question. AB who changed the, the game? Who changed the game in that department? I guess Hines. I, I don't really. Oh know no, no, about. not you guess. Hines did. Hines did. For a fact, Hines did. It's not even close. But the rules got changed. I don't know about this. Yes, the crackback. I know. Obviously, I, I know yeah. he's good at blocking. I mean, no, no, the crackback because they would show the play of him breaking the boy from yeah, Cincinnati's Keith, Keith jaw. Rivers, yeah, 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 that was the highlight play of the new rule. You're not allowed to come outside in and hit a uh, hit a defender that doesn't see you. Can't do that. Can't do it. Hines war rule. Can't do it. Unacceptable. Fine. 15 yards on top of I can't believe you got Hines at one, man. I can't believe you got AB at one, What man. do you mean? It's not even close. I'm trying to figure out how's it not close when one's numbers are are better than all of them. He was the best receiver in the game. I mean, Whose numbers were better? Who did it longer? AB's numbers are better. No, they're not. Who has more career receptions? Who has more career touchdowns? More seasons. Who has more career receiving yards? Oh, I don't care. Who man. played longer? Thank you. You said seasons. Thank you. Add that too. Who Who's played longer? More seasons. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Give me the longevity AB's, on top of the numbers. AB's done more in less seasons. Seven Give me the longevity. Pro Bowls Four All Pros. Give me the longevity. No. Give me the longevity. AB has the longevity too. Just you're gonna knock him Whoa. for not playing these couple seasons. I don't care if it's injuries or self inflicted. I don't care. I don't care. One thousand receptions, bro. AB, high. we know AB is a dog. We I feel like both of these dudes should be Hall of Famers. Straight like that. I feel like they both should. They both are elite. They both are freaky in what they do. They both impacted the game in terms of AB being the flat out the cream of the crop. During those six years, without a doubt, 100%, man. But at the same time, you can't knock Hans for that. Hans was doing, he was doing his thing too. You sit up here and talk about how Hans is you. Man, Hans was up there with those guys. Hans could ball with those guys. Hans should be a Hall of Famer. Hans is Hans. He that. should be a Hall of Famer. But now, all of a sudden, when we compare Hans to AB and we're bulling up numbers facing, and they back up Hans, now all of a sudden it's nah, bro. Facing man, you crazy, AB. Bro. AB, man, what you crazy? Yeah, it is. I don't know about that, man. I said I would take Reggie Wayne over Hines Ward. I remember talking about this. Mm-hmm. And I think Hines versus like Tory Holt and yeah. and looking back, I mean, 
Who, oh, I mean, now you now you want to look back at knock Hines. Who was Hines I'm not quarterback knocking, one of those times anyways? I'm not knocking Hines. Who was Hines quarterback doing his whole career? Hmm? Who was Hines quarterback throughout his whole career? Because we know Ben. Throughout his whole career. Not whole career. I mean No, no, most. no, no. Because we know A B throughout A B's whole career it was Ben. And then the one game that he played, he had Brady. Okay. So, so who was Hines quarterback the whole time? Because that goes back to my argument with Deshaun Watson. I mean, even when AB had, I mean, some, I'm trying Watson with uh with DeAndre Hopkins and who his quarterback was during that time. I mean, this is really tough just because we've only seen AB with Out Ben for a little bit, mm-hmm. like a few games, mm-hmm. and he still performed. He still, he still did. There would be games where it wasn't mm-hmm. there, but mm-hmm. I mean, we've I, seen Hines for extended period of time without Ben. That's all I'm saying. And I'm looking at it. I mean, mm-hmm. 246 yards, 638, mm-hmm. 672. All right, he's got some 1,000-yard mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. Ben comes in, and mm-hmm. and he finishes out his career pretty and, good. And, and not to mention, it was in a different era. We already talked about during that era, that's heavy run game. Bust, what? Don't don't sit here and act like that wasn't heavy run the ball era. Was that not heavy run the ball I era? Just, was I that not believe. heavy running back and fullback era right then? Was that not? I'm just asking a question. Was it not, Deke? Deke, were they not running the ball the back first, then, Deke? The first part is great. I mean, yeah. So you're going to sit here and say that A.B. because of this, third, because of third. A.B.'s seven years or six years were just crazy. But we talked about the different eras. But with Hans, oh, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't going to hold that against Hans, though, huh? Hans, you said it right there. This first couple of years, we know that he was running the ball heavy. We know he didn't have been. And when you look at career standpoint, his numbers are still better than A.B.'s. So, in fact, it's safe to say that Hines might have did it with less seasons too. Seasons might average out. What do you mean? Seasons average out? Because if you got to account for the three to four years where he Hines... He played four more seasons. Listen, how many seasons did Hines have without Ben? Actually, not how four many, more seasons. Let's say five because AB season last year doesn't count. How many seasons did Hines have without Ben? I mean... How many seasons? <laughs> If we have how many if, seasons did if, Hines have without Ben? If we give AB five seasons without Ben, oh, we will never know. And that's what I'm, we'll never know with the whole quarterback. Who's gonna be better? We're never gonna know that yes, exactly. We are gonna so know I don't that. know. Why, I don't because, know why we're talking which, about which quarterback the Hines played with that was better than Ben. What do you mean? Did any other quarterback the Hines played with outside that that aren't named Ben no. with any of them better than Ben? No. So that has to go into account as well. So the fact that he still was able to put up better numbers over his career with less quarterback play, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He played five more seasons than he has only... How many, listen, listen. You're saying he played five more seasons. I'm asking you, how many seasons did he play without Ben at he, quarterback? Hold on. He played five more seasons. How many seasons did he, he play only at has quarterback without Ben? 160 more receptions. How, that's a lot of receptions. How many seasons did he play without AB Ben? AB could get that in a season and a half. How many seasons did he play without Ben? Dude, what was it? It was Pull like it four or five. Okay, so there you go. That's your watch right there. That accounts for those five seasons that you're bringing up, right? I guarantee AB would put up better stats than these. It's hard to say. We'll never know. We will never know. But, but we I know mean, for this for a fact, uh, It's It's uh, six seasons. I'm sorry. So he had six seasons without Ben. So... I don't know what that has to do with... That has a lot. You're not listening to yourself. You're I, saying right here... Hans no, you're better. just no, no. Listen, listen. Are you ready? No. This is what you're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking it out for you. You said Hans' numbers are better. No, they're Hans, not. Listen, AB's numbers are better. They're not. Who has more receptions? Who has more touchdowns? Who has more receiving yards? Five listen, more seasons. Listen, you're not listening. Five more you're, seasons. You're talking, which you're not listening. Listen. I'm. I'll listen. Okay. Listen. So, Hans' numbers are better over their career, but you're saying that Hans played five more seasons than AB. Mm-hmm. Okay. A.B. had Ben Roethlisberger his whole career. Okay. Ben played, I mean, Hines played six seasons, you said, without Ben Roethlisberger, right? Hines played six seasons without Ben at quarterback. Six. So if you subtract those six years because of the quarterback play that Hines was playing with that we all can agree was nowhere near having the quarterback of Ben, Tommy that gone. factors in. That factors in. And when you factor those things out, the numbers, it's not that crazy like you're trying to say. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And on top of that, when we talk about big winning, which is your thing, right? Big winning. Hans has two big wins along with a Super Bowl MVP. Are we really going to say the 08 one big winning there? I mean. Was it not? It was. But So what are you saying then? But we already talked about Bennett Holmes in that game. I'm not following you. 
Big Ben and Holmes. I'm not following. In the 08 game. I'm not following. I mean, they were the guys. I'm not following. What? What do you say? Big, I mean, it's a team game. I mean, we've talked about this before. Hines has two Super Bowl MVPs and one Super I mean, two Super Bowl championships and one Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, he was balling out in the, the Super Bowl 40. I'll agree with that. I mean, that's Does not a, have any of those? That's not enough to account for AB being the best receiver in the league. Oh, so you so you rather have the best receiver in the league in terms of I mean, you rather have the best receiver in the league than a guy who's won two bowl, two Super Bowl championships and a Super Bowl it's, MVP. It's not AB's cool. fault. No, no, say, hey, cool, it's man. not AB's fault. I got you. I'm cool with you, man. It's, it's not cool. AB's it's all good, fault, bro. man. It's all good. You it's see, okay. you see how he performs in the playoffs. Hey, it's all good. Jaguars bro. against supposedly the best defense hey, in the it's league. It's all good, man. Come on, dude. It's all good. You know, you know, it's AB seven Pro Bowls, four time All Pro, four the Pro Bowls, two unreal, Super Bowls, dude. one Super Bowl MVP. Heinz Ward doesn't have a season. Heinz Ward numbers are like, better career wise. Any of AB's We're like saying, in that six year who stretch. has the better career as a Steeler? Like it's absurd. Whose career is better as a Steeler? You tell me. His, I mean, AB's probably worst season. And that six year stretch is comparable to Heinz Ward's best season. I don't care. All I simply said was who has the better career as a Steeler? A B. How? I told I mean, the best receiver in the league. I mean the numbers aren't adding up. I'm not following you. I asked you who is the best receiver. Who lead who has the Steelers record in receiving yards? Who has the Steelers record in receptions? Who has the Steelers <laughs> record in touchdowns? Please. Five more seasons, dude. And he had six seasons with, with, without AB, Ben. Can, I want to see if we if we get the opportunity to see A B play six seasons without Ben, then we'll know a lot more. Hold on. But as of right now, we don't know. Can we, hold on. Can I can I just go? Oh, can, I, can you wait? Can you listen here for a second? Oh. Can you listen here for a All second? Right, let's hear it, bro. Come on. All right. Hines has a thousand receptions. Okay. Twelve hundred eighty-three yards mm-hmm. and eighty-five touchdowns. Yep. And five more seasons. Then, hold on, hold on. Six seasons without Ben. Because every time you throw just, in the five. No, no, no. When you throw in five more seasons, just throw in six seasons without Ben also. Because we've never seen AB without Ben. I just don't know what that has to do with anything. It has a lot to do with it. I don't think it does. It does. AB's played with a Hall of Fame quarterback I'm just, his whole career. I'm just it has con- a lot to do with it. Like, you're confusing me with that whole thing. I, I get, no, I'm not confusing you with I it. I get what you're saying. All I'm saying is we talk of- about Larry Fitzgerald and his numbers. If he would have played with a Hall of Fame quarterback his whole career versus some of the quarterbacks he's played with, his numbers would be drastically better. He did better. have a Hall of Fame. I mean, he had Kurt Warner and, and Carson Palmer. Not, Carson Palmer's obviously not a Hall of Famer. But he's so, really yeah, Kurt Warner his whole career. Kurt Warner and Carson Palmer. His whole Palmer. career. Not his whole career, no. So a large portion of his career, then the majority of his career, uh, probably half between Kurt Warner That's and Carson exactly. Palmer and now Kyler Murray. That says a lot. So all I'm saying is this: if AB only had been for half his career, do you think his numbers would be half that good? I don't think. I mean, I just don't think. I just don't think he's better than AB. Like I, I mean, Ben could have been that quarterback. That I mean, because his numbers were similar when Ben was quarterback. Anyway, I mean. I'm just simply his saying. numbers were similar to if the we, years that he was putting the up. Opportunity. I hope we do, because that'll mean AB's back. He's good. Everything is positive, up and up. I would love to see AB without a Hall of Fame quarterback. I just see I, what he looks like. I think he's still going to ball out without a doubt because AB is AB. Like the dude is a monster. Like man, like that's why you love him, man. Dude, he's my teammate. Makes me happy. Mm-hmm. He got me out of a couple of stadiums. I'm like, yes, thank you, Jesus. AB, God, oh, let's go. 